the whole thing wobbing. Today we continue on with the Madden 24 Core Elite Reveals. We have tight ends and safeties. I do want to give a shout out to Trey Phillips for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn on the and comment down below. Nota Gang. Also, make sure you guys check out Underdog Fantasy. They have NFL season long projections up right now. We will have a preseason picks, I believe, either later today or tomorrow. College football season long picks are also available. NBA, soccer, a whole lot going on. And I'm a lot of private drafts for you guys over on Twitter right now. So if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, use code Zerk to match your first deposit up to hundred dollars. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. And also make sure you guys enter the giveaway I'm running right now for five copies of the Madden 24 Deluxe Edition. I'm picking winners on August 13th. All you guys have to do is retweet the tweet, follow me over on Twitter, and comment down below on that tweet Zerk luck. You can find that link down in the comment section. All right, so taking a look here, guys. Starting off, we have strong safeties, which I also do want to mention this from the Madden 24 beta, right? And you guys also notice this with the offensive linemen. Guards are not specified left or right, and then tackles are not specified left or right as well. Uh, in the beta, on the defense side of the ball anyways, defensive ends were not specified right or left, they were just DN, and then safeties were just safety, and as well, outside linebackers were just outside linebackers. So for some reason, they decided to keep tackles as tackles, and then guards as guards, but they now are specifying left end, right end, strong safety, free safety. Not really sure what's up with that. But as you guys see, the best strong safety in the game to start on Madden 24 is Derwin James at an 86 overall. 84 speed, 86 excel, 85 zone, 85 hit power. Very, very nice looking card. CJ Garner Johnson, also 84 speed, 85 excel. Not as high hit power, but does have 85 zone coverage. Uh, Kyle Duggar. 83 speed, 83 hit power, 85 zone, 83 excel. That's going to be a very nice user card as well. Harrison Smith, 82 speed, 81 zone, 85 hit power on him. Jordan Poyer, 85 zone, 82 speed, 84 excel, 68 hit power. Buda Baker, 83 speed, 83 hit power, 85 zone coverage, 84 excel. Kyle Hamilton, another good user option for sure. 83 speed, 83 excel, 82 man, 82 zone, and 82 hit power. Jamal Adams, 82 speed, 82 excel, 83 zone, 86 hit power on him. Adrian Phillips, can't hit at all, 63 hit power right there. Talanoa Hufunga, 81 speed, 81 zone, 80 four hit power on him and that is it for the top 10 strong safeties list which i have to say as well j ron curse where's he at how is he not on this list i feel like jamal adams should not be on this list and curse should have been slid in maybe around you know eight nine ten whatever i feel like that one probably should have been done but Derwin James, incredible user card. Kyle Duggar, incredible user card. CJ Gardner Johnson would be just a good card to have out there. Kyle Hamilton, also a great user. So a lot of good uh, options for user cards to start off the year. Next up, we have the free safeties. And starting off at 86 overall, we have Minka Fitzpatrick. Definitely looks like a pretty solid card. 84 speed, 86 excel, 86 zone, 80 man, 82 hit power. Again, guys, remember... Speed is not going to be that high to start the year. I know a lot of people are seeing these 82, 83, 84 speed players and thinking all these cards are really slow in comparison to maybe like offensive players or whatever. No, speed is just straight up lower to start the year. Every card is going to feel a little bit slower than normal uh, compared to like Madden 23's beginning of the game. Like Tyree Kill uh, will be revealed. I think wide receivers tomorrow. I'll double check on that towards the end of this video, but I think receivers get revealed tomorrow. Tyree Kill is probably going to be like 86 speed. So, Minka Fitzpatrick, 84, that's not bad. Justin Simmons, 82 speed, 85 excel, 85 zone, 77 hit power on him. We have Tyron Matthew. And again, remember, guys, if you did watch the Madden 24 gameplay deep dive that they did where they showed a full game, uh, you saw knockouts. Knockouts were a big thing, especially on high balls. They really, really tuned down high balls. So, when it comes to using somebody like Honey Badger, which I love Tyron Matthew cards, but I, I just refuse to use them the last couple of years simply because someone could throw a high ball to a tight end and teabag you every single time. You can't really do that this year because sometimes trying to throw high balls is going to be just drops by the receiver, might be inaccurate throws, and also you can get knockouts on them pretty uh, relatively looked anyways easily. So Tyron Matthew, I think I will actually be using this card. 82 speed, 83 zone, 81 man, and just because I'm a big Honey Badger fan. Kevin Byard, 83 speed, 83 zone, 69 hit power. 
Quandre Diggs, 82 speed, 83 Excel, 83 zone, and 78 hit power. Micah Hyde, 82 speed, 84 zone coverage, only 61 hit power there. Jesse Bates down to an 83. I feel like that's a bit low. 82 speed, 84 zone, 73 hit power on him. Marcus Williams, 81 speed, 82 zone, 80 man. And Antoine Winfield with 82 speed, 83 zone coverage, 76 hit power. And I believe finally is Jimmy Ward, 81 speed, 82 man, 84 zone, and 81 hit power. So those are the free safeties. Those are the strong safeties. I think Minka Fitzpatrick, obviously so. Uh, just overall, looks like the best free safety by far. And overall, top 10 recap. Here they are. And finally, guys, we have the tight ends to go over, which absolutely no shock here. 86 overall. Yes, of course, Travis Kelsey is going to get an 86 overall. Come on, of course he was going to. 81 speed, though. 59 run block. I gotta say, that's that's maybe a little bit surprising, only 59 run block, but he has 86 short route running, 83 medium route running, 86 catching traffic, 81 speed, and 76 strength. George Kittle coming in as the second, which in my opinion, maybe is actually the better card. Second highest overall, 85 speed, or 83 speed, 85 overall. 75 run block though, with 83 catching traffic. All take more speed, and uh... Uh, pretty much much better run blocker right there with George Kittle. I'll take that over Kelsey. We have Mark Andrews, 63 run block, 85 catch and traffic, 81 speed. We have Dallas Goddard, 80 speed, 80 catch and traffic, 69 run block, 83 short route running right there. TJ Hawkinson, 80 speed, 81 catch and traffic, 60 run blocking. Uh, Darren Waller, 83 speed. This is going to be like a very, very good budget beast tight end. 81 catch in traffic, uh, 65 strength on him. Of course, Kyle Pitts, another budget beast tight end here. Although Pitts, uh, just because his name is Kyle Pitts, he will likely go for more than Darren Waller. So price range wise, uh, Waller may be better value. 84 speed though, 80 catch in traffic, 82 short route running, 83 overall Kyle Pitts right there. David Njoku, 81 speed, 79 catch in traffic, 59 run blocking. Mike Gusecki, 78 speed, 78 catch in traffic, 53 run block as well. 80 overall Zach Ertz, only 77 speed. Yeah, that's a little bit tough. So Kelsey, 81 speed, but 59 run blocking. I'll take two more speed and 16 more run block there on George Kittle. I think, in my opinion, by far and away, that is uh, my personal preference at tight end right there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on it. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Tomorrow though, guys, we do have wide receivers and corners. So a very, very big day in terms of Madden Ultimate Team ratings. Obviously gonna be uh, a lot of hyped up names in there. CeeDee Lamb, Justin Jefferson, Sauce Gardner, Jalen Ramsey, Tyreek Hill. Definitely gonna be a big day. There also is the Superstar Deep Dive tomorrow morning. I believe it's at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on EA youtube so i will likely be making a video going over all of that stuff and then i will also make a video going over the wide receiver and the cornerback ratings as well so it should be another double upload day from me tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time and if you guys enjoyed this video check out these